This week, let's talk about the new Meritorious Advancement System, and looking ahead, expect less NWUs in your sea bag soon. And next week, the NAV admin with the selection results of the first enlisted women slated to serve aboard subs is coming out. Alright, first, you might have heard us talking about how the Command Advancement Program, CAP, is changing to the Meritorious Advancement Program, MAP. And you might not really care too much about a name change, right? Well, here's why you should care. The name change represents a big change to the program overall, and there's two main changes that I want to point out. First, there will be more flexibility for COs to ask for more quotas or return unused ones. This will reduce the overall number of quotas that go unused throughout the fleet. Typically, about a third to a half of the quotas go unused. The second change will go into effect next year. That's expanding the total quotas and distributing quotas to some shore commands rather than only sea commands. COs will decide who to advance from their best and brightest. Returning quotas or asking for more will have no impact on the number of quotas received the following year. So basically, no rollover minutes or overage penalties. So that's the basics on MAP. Now the logical question is, what's next? Uh, MC1, that's a great question. So the first thing we did uh, was release the NAV admin this week uh, to look in the short term. And today we've got working groups uh, underway that include the TICOMs and the fleets, as well as MCPON and leadership mess to make sure that we get it right. And uh, so that work is ongoing. Uh, but I want to make sure everybody understands that whatever we do inside a map, our focus is going to continue to be on manning the fleet. And I think you'll find that uh, as we expand MAP and give more authorities to commanding officers to make smart decisions about their workforce, uh, at the end of the day, we're going to continue to be able to man the fleet at the levels we have today. Now, the first enlisted women to serve aboard submarines have been selected. The NAV admin announcing those selected will be out later this week. The number of applicants was high and selection was competitive. The winner to apply for next year opens next month. Also of note, CMP is looking to lighten the sea bag by one set of NWUs. Their current requirement is four, but as fleet needs have changed, three is looking more appropriate. Look for a blog to come out soon detailing that and other changes set to take effect in October. Lastly, the active duty E7 board convenes on Monday, June 22nd. Quotas will be out early this week. And that's all folks. As always, Twitter lines are hot. If you have a question, tweet it at USM People. For the CMP, I'm Petty Officer Elliot Fabrizio. Thanks for watching.